Now let's take a look at using conditional comparisons in examples. Once again, here's the WHERE clause. Each comparison in the WHERE clause is represented by something such as column or expression, conditional comparison, and another column or expression. In other words, WHERE X equals Y, WHERE SHOW ID equals 1, etc., etc. Don't forget the logical operators and the precedents. Conditional comparisons. We've already gone through them, but let's go through them once again. We can say something equals or not equals something. Something is like something. Something is in or not in. Something exists. Something is between a range of values. Plus the group functions. We will leave the group any sum all functions for the moment. Let's do some examples with conditional comparisons. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to make some small changes to the conditional comparisons. I initially set them up so they could be easily understood. There are a few small changes I need to do in order to be more precise now. First of all, equality. Expression equals or not equals expression can be expanded to include greater than, less than, greater than or equal, and less than or equal. Let's do some examples with this. First of all, let's go and select everything from the category table again. I get 34 rows. Now let's go and select, once again, the category table. Select all rows, but the category ID is 1. I get a single record. Now I'm going to select everything from the category table, which is not 1. So I find every row, 33 rows, but the first row. Category ID 1 is not there. Now I'm going to go and select everything from the category where the category ID is less than 10. I find categories 1 to 9. Following that, I'm going to do everything where the category ID is greater than or equal to 30. I find the last five rows, which is 30 to 34. The like comparison condition. Like is used to pattern match from left to right. Let's take a look at some examples. First of all, let's go and select everything from the ACT table where the name of the ACT includes the lowercase letter A. What this pattern match is doing here is it's finding any string plus the letter A in any string. So anywhere within the string that contains the lowercase A will be a valid record. So let's run this query. And as you can see, we have lots of names with A's in them. A is a very commonly used letter. Now let's be a little more selective and find every name in the ACT table which begins with an uppercase letter A, a capital A. And we find a single record, arena cross. Now let's expand that a little and find everything beginning with an A or a B. And we find three records, one, two, three. Now let's change this a little and change the OR to an AND. Once again, back to logical operators. This finds nothing because I cannot have a name being A and B. It can only be A or B. A and B implies that a name is two different things, so therefore we find no rows. The next example. This one is saying where the name is like A, or the name is like B, so it finds both A's and B's, and it specifies that the act must be less than or equal to 10. Notice that 36 is not less than or equal to 10. That's because we haven't parenthesized the OR part of the WHERE clause. We haven't set the precedence properly. So what we'll do is we'll run this query again, using LIKE, and we'll make sure that we put the brackets in this time and we get the correct result. We've got name is like A or B and act ID is less than or equal to 10. Remember, Arena Cross had an act ID of 36, which is out of range. The last example I want to do is a negative. It's basically the opposite of the previous query, where we're saying select like A or B, and not less than or equal to 10. In other words, 
we're finding everything that is greater than 10. We could have done this query in a simpler fashion by simply saying and actID is greater than 10 and we would have found 36 as well. That just demonstrates the use of a negated logical operator with the like comparison condition.